If you're a fan of warships, ocean liners, or even spaceships from science fiction, you may have heard the crew refer to the navigation center as the bridge. Those of you who are new to the fan community may have wondered why they call it that. Frankly, the answer is simple. In the days of the first steamships, the paddle wheels on the sides of the ships limited the helmsman's view of the ocean, making it harder to navigate the vessel through high traffic or tricky areas. They built a bridge on top of the paddle wheel houses, allowing the captain a higher view of the surrounding area. The captain could then shout orders to the helmsman at the stern. As the design of ships continued to develop, they would eventually move the helm and engine telegraphs to a single navigation center on the bridge. And as years went on, the navigation center would become part of the ship's superstructure, but would retain its designation as the bridge. However, not all floating vessels have a bridge. In the case of old paddle wheel river boats, the navigation center would be called the wheelhouse because that is where the helm is located. Some small vessels even call their wheelhouse a pilot house or a cockpit, though the name cockpit is almost always synonymous with vessels that fly or rocket into space. Up until the mid 20th century, ocean going ships often had a crow's nest to assist the bridge with spotting oncoming hazards. While many vessels like the Queen Mary had their bridge constructed on the highest deck of the superstructure, it wasn't high enough to see far enough forward for the best view. So lookouts stationed in the crow's nest could often see a farther distance than the bridge and could spot other vessels along the horizon, almost 360 degrees around the ship. It wasn't until the wide use of radar that the officers on the bridge no longer needed a crow's nest. Bridge wings were also a new development. As ocean liners grew to incredible sizes, it became harder for the captain to monitor the docking of the ship. Bridge wings allowed the captain to peer farther down the length of the vessel. They were mostly only used with docking, which is why early ocean liners had outdoor bridge wings. But today, they are housed under the same roof as the rest of the bridge, allowing for more frequent use, especially when a harbor pilot comes aboard. It's amazing to think that almost all the navigation responsibilities of a ship, from the helmsman to the telegraph operators, the lookouts, and the navigator himself, were all eventually consolidated into one room near the bow of the ship. Well folks, that's it for this video. My channel has loads of other content, including historical documentaries of other ships, railroads, steam heritage, and yes, even the history of Walt Disney's theme park legacy, Disneyland. Leave a like and subscribe for more content.